All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue with our Arizona Coyotes. We just had the year one draft, and we got the second overall pick and the third overall pick. So we um, increased our prospect pool tremendously in this draft. No, we didn't get Connor McDavid. I was reading a lot of comments saying that I should have gone after Connor McDavid. Uh, well, we got to go forward. We It's not like we uh, didn't get anything to work off here. So when we look at all of our skaters here, now we have Ryan Pylon, who is a, or Pylon, however you pronounce his name. He's 63 overall, and he's a four and a half gold star potential. Ekman Larson, he's already on the team. We also got Matthew Barzell at number two. So Pylon, or Pylon and Barzell. So uh, didn't get Connor McDavid, but we got a center, four and a half gold star potential, and a defenseman, four and a half gold star potential. And we also picked up some... Uh, some good red star potential players here. Sprong, Strom, he was a great pickup. Marner, Korostelov, uh, four star players, Clark. All right. So there you go. And actually, you know what? I'll just talk about this for a quick second. Uh, I was reading some comments. You guys were saying that there's just too many four and three and a half star players in the draft now. Um, I know it's different than last year, but last year was flawed because after year number two, after round one, everybody coming into the draft was basically two and a half stars or three stars. They were never going to make it to the NHL. Now, the average potential is three and a half, all right? And the slightly better is four star. Four star doesn't mean a first line player. Basically, four and a half star player means uh, first liner, right? Uh, guaranteed second liner, maybe first liner. Four star potential means guaranteed second liner, or uh, no, no, not guaranteed, most likely second liner, maybe first liner, guaranteed third liner, and three and a half star is a guaranteed fourth liner, maybe third liner, maybe second liner, all right? So all these players coming into the NHL, it's not like, you know, this guy, oh, he's a future first liner, this guy, he's a future first liner. No, they all have the potential to become good third line or second line NHL players, and that's how it should be. It's the older players who drop out and get retired a little bit quicker in this game, right? So, um, I didn't like how it was last year with everybody being two and a half star. That was just, that was ridiculous. Nobody would make the NHL. Now you have a bunch of young rookies who you have to decide, are we going to play them or are we going to scratch them? If you play somebody, they're going to grow a little bit quicker. If you scratch them, they won't grow. So you get different prospects getting better every single time you play GM mode. I like it this way, so... Um, we'll see how it works out over the course of like 10 years or whatever, however long we go. All right. So we're up here at the resign stage. So let's not waste any more time and get resigning right now. What's our longest contract? Is it Ekman Larson? One, two, three, four, five, uh, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Only four years for Ekman Larson. Is there anybody else? Yeah, there's nobody else. So that sounds about right for me because if we're signing these rookies in three years, yeah, that's about right. So four years makes sense to me. Okay, so uh, let's get our goaltenders back. McKenna, I don't need you. I'm going to drop some of these guys here. Byzantine, we're going to need you back. All right, so three years at $1 million. I'll get the two-way contract still with Mark Byzantine. All right, so 0 .850 for two years at a two-way contract. Uh, Justin Pogge, I can replace Justin Pogge. There you go. Uh, Burke, I'll get Burke back. Brendan Burke, he's got some good uh, three-star, three-and-a-half-star potential. And then Langhammer, we're going to see how good a two and a half green star potential player can get. All right, so there's our goaltenders taken care of. Defenseman. All right, so Yandel, Gormley we want back. We'll sign Gormley to like a four, uh, four year contract. Yeah, there you go. He's top six, but he's going to jump. So, and we have, we have salary cap. We're not going to be a problem here. So four years, Koliakovo, I'm going to release you. Schlemko, I'm going to release you. I'll pick up other guys in free agency. Campbell, I'm going to release you. Uh, Reese, I'm going to release you. Uh, whoa. There you go. Release. There you go. Uh, McNeil, I'm going to release you. Plenty of guys that we can release here. Mark Louis, we can release you. All right. Uh, Westland, he's got three gold star potential. Let's see how good that can get. All right. So I'll give him a three uh, three year deal. See if that gets any better. Uh, the two and a half, though. No, I'm going to release you. There you go. Three star can get up to uh, high 70s. So if it's a grinder or a two way forward or somebody, like if he's get a, a nice defensive awareness that jacks up there, he could be a top six defenseman. So we'll get him. Uh, Pylon, uh, 63 overall, 18 years old. Just wondering, should I even try to sign this guy? Yeah, you know what? I'll sign him. Yeah, he's probably going to be playing in the minors anyways, but we'll sign him. That way we can get the next contract when he's uh, still young. Yakupov. All right, so we'll give Yakupov a, uh, I could offer him a lot. No, we'll just give him a four-way or a four-year deal, same as Ekman Larson. That'll be our contract right now. We'll uh, we'll, we'll set it up for a four-year run. Crombean, two-star, I'm going to release you. Uh, Lane, two-and-a-half-star, I'm going to release you. 
Uh, Sprong, yeah, I'm going to sign all these guys. All right. Uh, Korosteloff, yep. So our AHL team in like a year or two is going to be uh, filled with these guys. It's going to be a good team as well. Bodker, he's probably going to want some money. Four years, yeah, that makes sense for me. Four years at four mil, I'll take for Bodker. There you go. Uh, Yuensu, how good is this guy's stats here? 83, 83, 85, that's not bad. He, he wouldn't be a bad fourth liner or a depth player, so I'll sign this guy. Uh, two years... Um, fourth liner, two years. Yeah, I'll give him a two-year deal. Yeah, one-year deal. One-year deal is all he needs. All right, 1.25 for one year. Yo and Sue. Uh, no, don't need you. Two and a half star. Uh, Clark, I'm going to re-sign you. All right, so we're going to have a lot of fun here in free agency. Definitely have a lot of room. McMillan, I want to sign these guys. A lot of these guys I d uh, deliberately did not trade away. Uh, McMillan, yeah, he's, he's not bad. I want to sign him to a four-year deal. There you go. Third line checker at best. At worst, he's a fourth liner for us, so that's fine. Clint Cameron, I'm going to release you. I know he had a high, uh, high overall, but I'm still just going to release him. Uh, Boldick, same thing. All right. Uh, Martin Hook. He's a sniper, though. Uh, no, nah, I can release him. He's not going to turn out to be anything. Release him. There you go. I want to free up uh, roster space. There you go. Shinny Min, I'm going to release you. Uh, Lauren Dauphin, I'm going to assign this guy. Hopefully he can turn out to what we've seen him before, like how he was in the Quebec City Ace Nordique series, but uh, I doubt it. Matthew Barzell, he doesn't have the green star. Matthew Barzell will sign. Uh, McKinnis, I want to sign this guy because he's got the three green star potential. See how good he gets. All right. Uh, Crescenzi, I'm going to release you. Man, we got a lot of centers. This is good. Uh, Marner, hopefully... Two of these guys can turn out to be uh, the first line and second line center we could build around. And Dylan Strom. All right, very nice. That's all that taken care of, so I can simulate here. And I'm pretty sure... I'm trying to think. No, what we need to do still is I need to go up and down the roster and figure out all the uh, roster places before we go into free agency. If there's... I don't know if there's going to be any superstars, but I don't know if I want to sign superstars. I think I might just want to sign some depth. Uh, so, Yuen Su's back, Yakupov... All these guys, yep. Uh, unless there's an obvious superstar there. I'm just talking about like an older guy. Uh, so Ekman Larson, he's still on the team. Yeah, all skaters, they're all signed. And goaltenders are all signed as well. All right, perfect. So, you know what? Actually, one second. Let me just make sure I don't lose this. And I'll blow my nose as well. All right, that's much better. So, we for next year, we got to figure out what we need. We have uh, Mike Smith and Byzantine, who looks like he's going to be a backup goalie. So, maybe a, uh, a minor league starter in there. And then, like, a potential goaltender. So, we have room for two goaltenders. Uh, minor league starter and a potential uh, defenseman. We have Yandel, Ekman Larson, Stone, Gormley. Murphy, I think Murphy would be able to play in the NHL this year. He's almost at 80, so... Uh, if we play him, he'd probably hit top six over the course of the year. So we can play Connor Murphy in the NHL this year. I know he's low, but we can play the rookie and see what happens, right? So one, two, three, four, five. We have five defensemen, so I could use one more defenseman, all right? Uh, and then maybe uh, some minor league defensemen for some depth. AHL, I'm going to need to fill up here. And forwards, well, hang on, centers. We have uh, Martin Hansel. Uh, I could put uh, Toivo, Te Tevo, whatever his damn name is, Tara Vine, and I could put him on the second line center, or we could put him on the third and get a second line center if he's available. But what I'm thinking is we can go Hansel and then Tara Vine in as the second line center, let him grow this year, and then we can have Chipchura and McMillan as the third and fourth liners, right? That's fine right there. Uh, left wingers. We could use some left wingers, though. We have Bodker and Yoensu who can play third or fourth. We don't have a second and another third or fourth. So we need two left wingers. And then right wingers, we have Yakupov, same thing. All right, so we need some wingers before centers. Wingers, one defenseman, and two goalies. All right, that's what we need going into free agency. So let's go to free agency, and let's see what's available, who's available. I don't think, uh, I, don't think I see... I don't think I've seen any real studs. I'm trying to re remember... Who have I seen? I've seen Martin St. Louis in free agency. That's one player I've seen. All right, but that kind of makes sense because, you know, he's a little bit older by the time his free agency comes up and do the Rangers want to sign him? You know, that kind of makes sense. So I'm trying to think. Like, you know, I haven't seen, like, Taves or Kane or anything. I think I saw Kopitar once, but that might have been a little bit deeper in. All right, so here we go. We have Brad Richards. That makes sense because the, the Chicago Blackhawks still have Shane Doan, so they got to give up Brad Richards. All right. Uh, Pitkinen, Downey. Gleason, Oduya, Jones, Peverly. All right, so we have a few players here. So the first thing we want to do is goaltenders. Let's see if there are any good potential goaltenders. Not really. Uh, you know what? I can get this Makarov guy. 
because he's got the overall as well, so he could be that uh, that uh, goalie in the minors that I was talking about. So I'll get this Makarov fella. There you go. And also goalies with the overall. Do I want to sign a backup? Byzantine can play a backup. Yeah, Byzantine can play as a backup this year. I'm fine with that. Uh, starter, though. Starter to make sure that I do good this year. I'll get this uh, Richard Bachman guy. He's 79, minor starter. Yeah, we'll pick this guy up. All right, because if our AHL team does better, then the players playing on that AHL team have uh, better progress reports. So one year, there you go. All right, now defenseman. So I need a uh, one defenseman to play alongside. Now there's a few defensemen here available. Now, you need to look at these a little bit differently now. Last year at NHL 14, you know, these three players would be guys that, well, these two players, all these already 26 years old, so I mean. But these two guys would have been players that you definitely want to pick up, right? But look, they're only three and a half star potential, 20 years old, and still in their 60s, all right? So I'm not going to say that they're, uh, they're not good to pick up, but it's not like NHL 14. These guys would be lucky to get to top six, all right? Very rarely get to top four defense. Very rarely. But um, it looks like their uh, potential cap would be a top six defenseman. High 70s, low 80s. All right. So I wouldn't mind picking them up just to pick them up. But it's not like before. That's the average potential now for a player is three and a half star. You want to look for four star or better. All right. But, you know, it, it's, it's not horrible. Especially if the overall is there with it. Uh, so... I definitely have the room on my team to get these two guys, so I might as well sign them. All right, Dylan Her uh, Hetherington, yep, there you go, uh, 0.750 for this guy, and Jordan Subban as well. There you go. All right, so I don't think these guys will be ready in like two or three years or whatever. They may not even crack our NHL team, but still, uh, we'll pick them up, all right? Now, that one defenseman that we needed to play top six minutes for us. Uh, Pitkin in, no, no, no. Too much cap, too much cap, too much cap. Martina is too much cap. Uh, Derek Morris is more like it because he's 36 years old. And he's got the four and a half white star potential. That could drop, though. He's already 36. Uh, uh, you know what? There it is. There it is right there. Jordan Leopold. Uh, Irwin. Nah, he's three mil. These guys, like... They're more, like, ready to play. Like, we're, we're developing our, our young guns. It's all about Ekman, Larson, Yandel, uh, uh, Gormley, Stone, Murphy now, who we want to get better. Pilon, who we have to wait for. So I don't think I need to waste a lot of money here. I just need to get somebody who can play. Jordan Leopold. Yeah, I'll get a Jordan Leopold. There you go. All right. One year, Jordan Leopold. Don't get greedy now. Uh, one year, 2.50. All right. There you go. Now let's go down and find just a pair of other defenders that can play in the a a AHL for us and help out. Here we go. Potter and Frazier. Yeah, these two guys. All right. So one year. Yep. There you go. Very nice for Potter. And for Frazier, these guys are injury guys for us. Or, uh, oh, you want a real contract, do you? Yeah, I'll give you a real contract. That's fine. There you go. I have freaking 30 million uh, salary cap to work with here. All right. So there's the defenseman taken care of. Now forwards. Centers. I have a Brad Richards that I could get for a second line center, right? But you got to think realistically. Would he want to join the Phoenix or Arizona Coyotes? No, he'd want to go to a Stanley Cup contender. So I'm not even going to try that. Same thing with Chris Kelly. I already have uh, the third and fourth line centers. I don't need to pick up players like that. No, I don't need Sean Mathias. I don't need any of these guys. All right. No, I don't need any centers. Left wingers, though. Uh, Blake Como, Galliardi, Leno, and right wingers. Downey, Jones. All right, so I'm going to get this David Jones character because we need some more goal scoring, right? And this guy is a sniper. He's really the only uh, winger that we can go out and get. Hey, he wants a real contract. I'm fine with that. I'll give you three years at... Because he's 83, so I could trade him after one year. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, three years at 2.650. 2.750. I want to make sure I get this guy. Three years at 2.750. All right, so now you got Yakupov and David Jones. Uh, Downey, no, 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 Ryder, no, these guys are a little bit too old, Mittenen, no, 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 Condra, I do need some depth now for this, yeah, Condra could be one, uh, or Derek Dorsett, no, 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 Condra and LaRose have some good uh, defensive awareness there, yeah, okay, okay, Condra, there you go, one, one year, there you go, 0.925, and Chad LaRose as well, there you go, that'll help out the, uh, the right side, and now the left side, Como, a little bit too much. Galliardi, I can get. Uh, yeah, he can help out a little bit offensively. I mean, there's not really much here to grab, so I'll just get uh, Galliardi and then some 
what's it called? Oh, Drayson Bowman. He's a sniper. Oh, uh, you know, I'll get I'll get Drayson Bowman as well. There you go. I just need to get a few players. Remember, we scratched a lot of players there. Uh, and give me somebody who can play third or fourth line minutes there. He wasn't bad. Uh, Cody McLeod, all right, he wasn't bad. Uh, he wasn't bad. Carter, Carcillo, nope. Bodie, nope. Jeffrey, nope. Leno, nope. Galliardi already got. Como, he's at the top. I'm not going to sign Como. Um, yeah, McLeod and Carter I could sign. Yeah, McLeod and Carter. All right, so I'll get these two guys on the team as well. McLeod. Actually, you know what? I'll just get the one. I don't need, Car I, I don't need Carter. All right. There you go. And then forwards. Last but not least, let's check out any potential forwards here. Le, LeBlanc or LeBlanc. Le, Le, LeBlanc. Uh, 26 years old, 73. He's not going to get too much better. Uh, Byron. Yeah, 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 he's not going to get too much better. Uh, 20 years old at 68. 24 at 70. Uh, 24 years old at 78 is not bad. Jerry Domingo. He could jump. He's already at like high 70. I'm going to sign this guy as well. He could he could get a jump. All right, so I'll get him. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, 69 at 20 years old. That's not bad. Felix Westermark, two-way forward. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting him. Just a few extra players here to help out. There you go. Uh, 20, 67, 68. There you go. There's a 20. There you go. Greg Chase. Yeah, and he's got 78 for face -off, So I'll get this guy as well. There you go. Uh, and then there we're, we're pretty much after we're done after that Motri, you know, I'll get this guy as well. He's got the green star potential sign him All right, so we signed a lot of uh, younger players here. We have 34 players under contract So I mean we can sign 16. Hopefully I didn't go over that. I don't think I did but if I did I did all right So there you go. There's free agency for you guys um, Definitely made the move to go after younger players. So we got Jordan Subban. We got Nick Motri. We got Dylan Hetherington We got Felix Westermark all right, so we 38 players under contract now. Look at our average age. It's only 24. Uh, 24. Now it's gone up to 27. Here come the older players. Galliardi, he's been signed. David Jones been signed. McLeod's been signed. Jerry D'Amigo. Condra, Leopold, Chad LaRose, Bachman, Makarov, Frazier, Potter, Drayson Bowman. Okay, I, I had too many players, so I didn't get Drayson Bowman. And, yeah, it was the only player I didn't get was Drayson Bowman, so I was one player too much. All right, so there you go. We've uh, let go of a lot of players. And we've brought in a bunch of new players. So our Arizona Coyotes look completely different now. Now I want to make sure I don't lose any of this and we're not going to miss anything. So hang on a second. All right, so we're back. Don't worry, you haven't missed anything. We're just continuing the simulation. I don't think we're going to get to any simulating in this video. Just because, well, no, no, no. You know what? I'm going to put my foot down right now. We're not going to get any simulating done in this video. We can set that up for the next video. And we can get a big chunk of, uh, we can go up to like the all-star break or something like that. Because this year... I do want to try and make the playoffs. That's why I held on to a guy like Mike Smith, Keith Yandel. They're out of town this year if we don't make the playoffs, right? But I want to take my time with this team during the simulation. That's why we're not going to start in this video. The next video, week by week, trying to make this team better, all right? I'm not just going to go month by month. I'm going to make line changes. I'm going to try and make this team a playoff team. I don't... If I had to bet, I'd say we're not a playoff team, but the one wild card is uh, Mike Smith. 89 overall goaltender, it can it can happen, all right? And if Yakupov jumps up, if Tara Vinen jumps up, if Bodker gets a good season with those two offensive defensemen as well, Yandel and Ekman Larson with that goaltender, you never know. You might be able to sneak in eighth, right? So, okay, the offseason is over. You're starting your second year at the helm of the Arizona Coyotes. So, scouting assignments. Uh, okay, so we're going to start the scout again. We're going to go back to the O. And we'll do forwards for all the uh, the Canadian leagues. Then we'll go defensemen. Now, before we get started, can I increase my scouting? No, I can't. All right. So, we'll save up for that. All right. Now, let us... Uh, we're not going to be making any trades. All right. So, I, I see like uh, Patrick Marlowe is available on the trading, uh, trading block. Whatever, though. We're not making any trades. We're still kind of in that rebuild right now. Right? So, roster moves. Let's see... If anyone got the uh, nice little jump here. So Mike Smith, he's not 89, he's 88. So he's 33 years old. This is definitely, unless we win like the Stanley Cup, you know what I mean? This is definitely the last year for Mike Smith. It could be a trade deadline. Hopefully it's a playoff run and then we trade him because he's 88. Uh, he's 33 years old, but he's got four years left. So after this year, we trade him. I'm, I'm down with that. But unless like we go to the Stanley Cup finals or something and he's an absolute beast. Uh, now it's saying that 
Mark Vizentine is still a minor league starter. You see that? Even though he's 81 overall, it still says his role is a minor league starter. So I think his growth would be better suited if we played him in the minors and he played a lot of games rather than playing in the NHL and losing the few games that he actually does get to start. Right? So I'll leave uh, Mark Vizentine in the minors. He's got his backup Makarov. All right. And he's got, uh, and, Bach, and Bachman is up here. So 79 overall. So that's not bad. Defenseman now. Ekman Larson, he's 87, so two more years to get better. Uh, Yandel, 87. Stone, he's jumped up to 83. All right. Gormley, he's jumped up to 83, so that's good. Uh, Jordan Leopold is an 80. Uh, Frazier, 79. Summers, no. We're bringing up uh, Murphy. All right. So Murphy is listed as a uh, depth forward right or depth defenseman, which means that he should be on our NHL team, but not starting, but just filling in one, two, three, four, five, six, but I'm not going to do that to him. I'm going to play him one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to play him so that he, uh, he gets the chance. All right. To do something special here. One in the, uh, in the NHL, if he jumps to like 81, 82 by the end of the year, then he's a top six defenseman. There you go. All right. This is a growth year for us. Uh, now let me just, uh, Domi, they're saying to play Domi. No, we're not playing Max Domi yet. He's 76 overall for Christ's sake. Uh, we're bringing up the eighties. This is why I signed all these guys. Oh, Samuelson. He's 79. I uh, can still play in the minors there. Samuelson. I got rid of Lesio in the, uh, the, the trade there. All right. But we don't need him anymore because he didn't really jump. Uh, Joe Vitale, Galliardi, all right, all these guys. So let's just go through it here. So my centers, Hansel, Teravainen. Uh, Teravainen's jumped up to 82. All right, so that's good news. One, two, three, four. And then Chipchura and McMillan as my third or fourth liners. I'm fine with that. So there's our center core. Uh, left wingers, Bodker, Yoinsu, D'Amigo, Galliardi. All right, yeah, I'm fine with that. McLeod is down there in the minors. And then the right wingers, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine with me. Yakupov, David Jones, LaRose, and Condra. That's just the way I, I, I set it up, basically. All right. So now let's go into the uh, line changes. Let me just go best lines, because if I can just go best lines, then I can get through with injuries. We're leaving injuries on. I like the injuries in this game, actually. I think they have improved them. Uh, but the first line now is Bodker, Hansel, and Yakupov. I'm going to give Yakupov first line time. I'm not going to keep him with Tara Vinen. Let's see what the kid can do on the first line. So he's with Hansel and Bodker. Second line, David Jones, Tara Vinen, and we really don't have much to help out that second line. Saying Chad Rose, I think Galliardi would be the best for... No, he's only got off... Uh, 81 for offensive awareness. No, maybe uh, LaRose does have the best offensive awareness here. 80. No, you know what? I'm going to go back with Galliard. He can go up there. All right, Galli. Well, when I go best line, it's going to change it anyway. So, you know what? Screw it. That's fine for me. And then defense, Ekman, Larson, Yandel, Leopold, and Stone, and Gormley and Murphy. Yeah, that's fine because Gormley is still listed as a top six. So, uh, he can play right there. Smith and Bachman. All right. Now, Portland. Let's see here. Oh, I already changed it. I was waiting for it to switch over. Portland, let's just see. If I go best lines, who's playing, who's not playing? We have uh, Jordan Subban, who's not getting a start. But remember, he's only 69 overall. That's why, right? Uh, Westland, all right. So we're only having one player with the four and a half who's not getting a start. And that's, uh, or three and a half. And that's, uh, what's his name? Jordan Subban. So what we need to do next is bring up players for the sake of injuries, right? So Potter... Uh, yeah, you're going to be one. Frazier, you can play in the uh, AHL. We only need the one defenseman to come up. He can help out. And McLeod, you can come up as well. No, Joe Vitale. There you go. All right. There you go. So we have two players that uh, will act as, uh, uh, what's it called? Injury replacements, Potter and Vitale. And they're both 79. So if I go best lines, Potter, Vitale. Does Potter get inserted? Potter gets inserted instead of, uh, what's his name? Okay, so I need to change that. We don't want to put a defenseman in there then. All right, Potter, go back. There you go. Now we'll go best lines, and then Murphy should be there. Okay, so I know that now. All right, so I got to make sure that Potter is not on the team so that Murphy gets the best lines. And then Portland, best lines. Uh, yeah, you got Domi on the first line now. All right, Dauphin's there. Samuelson's there. Defense, you got... Uh, we don't really have any... Yeah, we don't have any defenders. And Visitine in the net at 81. So the AHL team might be able to do something this year. All right? So there you go. I'm not going to... We're not going to simulate ahead of... You know what? We got. We do have actually have one... Ooh. There's one problem we have. The salary cap available, right? You know what? Will it be... A, no, 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 no. I, I should... You know what? What time? Much time? I got to solve... Let me solve that right now. Trade negotiations... I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fix something here. Uh, I gotta, first of all, I gotta clear a roster spot on my team. So, this guy, Melindy, I'll get rid of you. There you go, I just gotta trade him for some, some team has a roster. There you go, uh, they can't, they can't get it. There you go, Buffalo can. 
Give me Melindy for a fourth. Will you do it? No. Fifth. There you go. All right. So I trade Melindy for a fifth. Now it says that I'm $5 million above the cap or below the cap, whatever. Um, so I want to sign a free agent and give him a nice payday here. All right. So I'll get another defenseman. There you go. Defenseman. Age, 42, Numelin. We'll give this guy a nice little payday, all right? It's for his years of service, 42, 42 years old. All right, Petri or Pateri uh, Numelin. Here you go, buddy. Get a nice severance package from the NHL. I need to fill up my cap space. A lot of players on my team may not like this, all right? But what are you going to do? So this guy, he's going to get a heavy paycheck. I just don't want to... Um, for anyone wondering why I'm doing this, the available available cap for the player, see how I'm over 20 million. Once you start the regular season, the computer, the game will automatically make you uh, get up to the cap by increasing your contracts of all your current players. So you'll have like Ekman Larson and Mike Smith, their contracts will be extended, which will hurt my chances to trade them when the trade deadline comes around because their trade value will have shrunk because their cap is a lot more, right? So I want to take care of this right now to nip this in the bud. Uh, 7.5 million for Petri or Pateri Numelin. All right. And then we're going to simulate up ahead here. There you go. He's extremely happy to accept my offer. Didn't take him much time to get back to me, did it? Yeah, I suppose not. Uh, and now, instead of having one, two, three, four, five, six, instead of having uh, Potter up here, I can have Numelin. And now look at my team salary in the top right, 18.915 million. So I won't have my uh, my cap affected, basically. All right, so there you go. We're going to end it right there. Let me know what you guys think about this team and our chances to make the playoffs. I want to try for the playoffs this year, which means that we have to get a little bit of luck. All right, so let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next one.